So from the Impact and Impact Plus screens again from my side menu, I have the ability to use my active button. There's two ways I can use my active button here. I can either come from my home menu and access it here, or if I'm already in an existing application, then I can use my floating pen tool and I can use my active button, which is just under, just next to my pen tool. It's two windows, one behind another. The reason it's two windows is because that signifies by tapping on that icon, what we can do is, is we can have two applications open at the same time on my screen. So when I first tap my icon, you can see it shows me everything that's open on my screen at the same time. And if I need to, I can very quickly move between those apps by tapping on them. If I want to close an application, then again, I can tap on my uh, active button and I can swipe that closed and that closes my application for me. Uh, the nice thing about this here is that once we're in our um, active uh, page and we can see everything that's open, there's a little icon just here that looks like two windows next to each other. What that will allow us to do is that will allow us to do some split screening on our Clever Touch screen. So really, really useful if you're in a classroom situation. So if I tap on one icon, I can have that on my left hand side. So let's go for um, a nice uh, PDF on one side. Uh, that will place that on the left side of my screen. And then if I scroll down to find my whiteboarding space, then I can have that on the other side of my page. So really useful if you're in a classroom situation, you can have one of your, your resource open on one side and a whiteboarding space on the other side, or any combination of applications that you want. So you could have a text on this side with a PowerPoint and some questions on the other side. You could have a video playing on one side and, and a PowerPoint or a... Or a um, uh, whiteboarding space on the other side. However you want to use that as a teacher, just means that you've got a really flexible space to work in. Down the middle of my screen, I now have the option using my white slider to manipulate that into a two thirds, one third split in either direction. So if you want to make one more dominant than the other, you just slide it to one side. If I want to close that entirely, then I just drag it completely to one side and then that will close that entirely. What's really about, nice about this is you then have the option, obviously, to use your floating tools over the top of this. So, for example, you might want to use your, your snipping tool and bring content from here immediately over and push it into your whiteboarding space. Slide your whiteboarding space open and then you can work on that from there with the tools that you have in your whiteboarding space. So nice, quick, easy way to work. Two ways to access your active button. One from the floating pen tool and the active icon here showing you everything that's open. The other way to access it from your side menu with the active icon here, again, showing you everything that's open.